Holy Bar here, back on Ark Survival Evolved, and today we're on the Ragnarok map, building a very circular, totally vanilla aviary. Big enough for most of your birds, um, not big enough for the Quetzals or the Wyverns, but big enough for your Griffins, your Argies, Tapajeras, and your Trinidons. Now, this build is difficult. So just be patient. Go slow. You may have a lot of headaches, but I'm here for you. Then I also want to make sure to credit Captain Fat Dog and his super awesome circle tutorial. Link will be in the top right corner here and in the description down below, where you can also find all the materials we use today. Now, for the location, we are at, in the jungle area, right here, GPS, right there, with a lovely view, a waterfall, very colorful turtle, vast ocean and way out there is a swamp and the canyon and is that pink packy rhino yep the easter events going on right now so there's all sorts of colorful dinos there was a bronto somewhere anyways don't forget if you end up enjoying this video hit that like button if you want to see more builds like this, hit that subscribe. And if you have any questions, or just want to chat, say hey. Leave a comment down below. Let's get started. Yeah! Okay, of course it's raining. So for this build, we need at least a 9x9, preferably 10x10 10 10 flat area. And we're using all vanilla pieces, so it's totally console friendly. The only thing you need to make sure is that you have the no clipping option checked. So that you can clip into the terrain. And then we need to start with wood foundations, but we need the vertical slats facing you. So if you place it, you just have to rotate it. Now we need metal fence foundations. We want to line them right in the middle. Now this entire step one is very difficult, requires a lot of precise placing. So just go slow, be patient. You'll get there with enough tries. Anyways, so we're going to line this metal fence foundation right in between the slats line it up with one of the edges just to make sure it's straight go ahead and place it and this next part I'm using torches to kind of show what I'm talking about you can use them or you cannot they're a little bit easier to use when you're just starting this. But once you got the hang of it, you don't need them. So we want in the middle and then the third slat from the right. We want it just on the edge of it. Right edge. So we're pretty much going to make a line between the two torches. One again on the other side. And then we need the metal fence foundation. In order to get it to not snap, if you look up a little and be far enough away, you can kind of move it around freely. So we want edge 
just touching the torch here, making sure it stays in between that third slat. And then we want the two corners um, be your right. So the two right corners from the straight and the diagonal one. We want it to just line up. You can go forward a little bit to see if you're touching. Kind of hard to explain, so I'm sorry. Now we can check it. See, they're just pretty much inside of each other. Now we repeat that. On the other side, which I seem to have always a difficulty doing the other one. Like I said, let's be very precise. Now we can get rid of the torches. Goodbye. And goodbye. Now we need thatch foundations. Two in the front. Two in the back. Six on the sides. and two like so same on the other side just like that and now for this next part we can use, you can continue using metal fence foundations. If you're in creative mode, that's fine. Or you can use wood foundations as they're not so resource intensive. So for the sake, I'm gonna go ahead and use wood foundations. Uh, wood fence foundations, sorry. So with this three points that we made, it'll actually allows us to make a 24 point circle which you can kind of see how it starts to snap. So we're gonna take the wood fence foundations then just go along all those snap points very slowly, very carefully. And then when you get to the foundation meeting point here, just make sure it doesn't snap in the middle there or to the foundation part, but snaps to the fence foundation. All right, so if you place those first three metal foundations correctly, you'll notice all the spaces in between are even more or less. If they're not, you're just gonna have to start over, try again. From each one of these points here, we're gonna go an additional two up, and if you accidentally place one wrong, like say you placed it here, don't break it, just leave it, because if you break it, It'll destroy everything that you've done. So yeah, go two up on all the points.
is what it's like so far. So if you made it this far, give yourself a very well-deserved pat on the back. Next, we need wood pillars. And we're actually going to snap them in the middle, not on the edge, right in the middle of this last fence foundation. And just make sure it's perpendicular to you, to the fence foundation. Sometimes it likes to snap at an angle. We don't want that. Okay. Now we can go ahead and destroy the outermost thatch foundations. Just the ones on the outside of the wood pillars here. Next, we need stone foundations and we want to make sure they snap to the pillar and not anything else. So just like this. You can see it snapping. Do that. All of the pillars. You can see it building a really cool circle. And then don't worry about those gaps in between. They'll be filled with pillars later. Now, go ahead and destroy all of your hard work there. Everything in the middle, the wood foundations, the wood fence foundations, wood pillars, thatch, everything here. Everything but those stone foundations. Now with stone foundations again, we wanna go two rows in just make sure um, that there's 24 squares. So if you go slow, just keep counting to 24 each ring here. All right, making sure to leave the center here open. We're gonna take stone walls, go all along the center. Once again, make sure you count to 24. That way you know they're all placed. Okay, and then from here, depending on how high you want your build, you can go four, five, however many you want. But for the sake of this build, we're gonna go four high. Always making sure, of course, that you're placing 24 walls on each ring.
All right. So here, we want to figure out where you'd like your entrance. So for this build, I want it facing that direction. All right, so we want to find the middle of our circle. Using a wood foundation, we can kind of draw a line through the middle. And then with that center tile, just gotta drop down, we and get a wood pillar. We wanna plop it right in the center. Just make sure it's straight, not at a weird angle, like that. And then you could use thatch ceiling tiles. I'm just going to use stone, place one on top, and then one more out. Then we need two wood fence foundations placed on the very edge. We want that snap point. And on the other side. And then we need stone pillars placed on the corners there. Then bring those down to the bottom. Like so. And then we're going to go two more up from there. For a total of four pillars. And then from those pillars, we're going to go two snap points out with the wood pillar, two more snap points out, stone pillar, up four, get rid of that. And, and then from this one, another two snap points out. Not that one. Up four. There we go. There's our entrance. And get rid of these. Get rid of the wood pillar. And these wood fence foundations. They're magically sticking out of the pillars. Back in the center here, we need stone ceilings, and then you're going to go on all the 24 points here. You're going to make three rings, and then we're going to fill in the center. Back at the entrance here, we want stone ceilings. We want to place them on these front pillars and using that snap point, it's a little bit lower. We go all the way to our other circle here. creating a 2x3 rectangle attached to a 1x4. And then back again 
with wood fence foundations. We want to snap them just on the inside of these ceiling tiles. So right there. And then just go all along the edge of the circle and a little bit of our entrance here. from here, one more fence foundation finish off the edge here. All right, now we need stone pillars snap to the foundations here. We're going four high in the front. And then we want to make sure we snap to the ceiling tile on the right so that it's flat. There we go. And these are five high. And on the corner here, also five high. And then just repeat that on the other side. Next, we need a regular metal dino gate right in between these pillars here. Blue side facing you. And then for the dino gate, we're actually using the reinforced dino gate, which is found in the stone category. Now we need to go back with the stone pillars and we're going to snap them to all of these wood foundations on the end. There's two angles. One's kind of weird like that, but we want this one so it actually follows the circle. And we want one for each. tile. And then with those in place, we're going to go an additional three high for a total four stone pillars. Do that for all of them. And now we're going to grab metal railings and we want to make sure to snap it to the fence foundation. Go around, I can show you. Not the ceiling tile. Those are little feet. You want to make sure they're hidden as opposed to that. We don't want that. We want this. Go all the way around all those wood fence foundations and then they're going to be too high like that
and with some greenhouse glass walls. These we want to make sure snap to the ceiling tile. And if you're standing on the outside, it's a little bit easier. And then we're just going to go four high on all the places that we put those railings. And with stone railings, we're going to go right below the ceiling tile here, making sure to snap it to the metal railing and not the wall. Get it? See, that would be snapping to the wall, but that higher one is what we want, not the lower one. Go all along the bottom. Okay. And then back on the front here. We need stone ceilings. Then some more greenhouse glass walls. This is gonna be two by four square. And then we need a slope left and slope right. Two of each. And right there. a little peek. And then we can continue with the stone tiles. We go fill it all the way in. Almost in. Uh, three rings. Just follow along. grab some stone walls and we want to snap them up top here and then just go all the way around and when you get to this little point it's gonna unfortunately leave it open but we can fix it in the end And now we're going to go an additional two high for a total of three walls all along the walls we just place. Now 
take some stone slope left walls. And we're going to place them on the edge here, making sure they all face the same direction. And with some more stone walls, we're going to kind of create a line to our center here. So two out, and then two up on this last point. And do that for everywhere you put the slope walls. Having more slope left walls. We're going to place them on top of all of these stone walls. Now we need metal slope ceilings. We're going to go along place it. Oh, I accidentally fell. Back up top. You want to make sure that it's following greenhouse glass walls right below. See, like not that. Like this. You might have to kind of mess around a little bit, change the snap points. Just make sure it all lines up. And then we're going to follow this all the way to the top. front section or wait we need a metal wall we want it um I want it no something's not right okay figured out where I went wrong we need stone pillars and bring these all the way down to the ground. Same on the other side. Bloop. And then with some stone foundations. We're going to go kind of follow this middle here, go out three, that's not right, there we go, three, and then go ahead and bring them back.
And then we can get rid of these two in the middle here. And if you're following along, I apologize. Sometimes these things happen. Okay, now this should work. So this little front section should be two stone tiles wide. And then you can put the metal wall right in this little kind of nook. Now we can take the metal slope ceilings, go three across on both sides, and just ignore this little exposed part. Now we need greenhouse ceiling tiles, and we're going to snap them to all of the stone walls, creating a really cool kind of design. And then for this weird little opening here, we need one metal ceiling and then around the edges here we need metal walls. This is why you need no clipping. Otherwise you couldn't do this. So yeah, thank you. And on this side and on top we need Metal railings again. On all four sides. There we go. Back on the front, we need stone railings on the left and right side. And let's see how we're doing. Don't worry, we're almost done. It's looking good. Now we can finish up the inside here. We go inside and we can see the really cool skylight we made. Anyways, we need metal ceiling tiles, and this can be laid out all sorts of ways. But we're just going to kind of do what we want. Snap them to the walls here. And what we're going for here is pretty much just a place where your birds can perch. Kind of like a real aviary. And of course, so we can get up to our birds, some metal ladders. And you can just kind of place them so that we can actually walk up there. And then just do that for all the ceiling tiles here. Or for all the perches. Just make sure you're not sticking through that beam. Well guys, if you've been following along, congratulations! We did it! Yeah! Got through a lot of difficulties, but we made something very amazing. Now for the reveal. Ta-da! And for colors, I went all the metal and the kind of floor parts in black and the rest of the stone in cyan. The railings are a mix.
and we finally reach the end. Thanks for following along. Don't forget, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. And if you want to see more builds, hit that subscribe. It's the only way, after all. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And of course, all materials are in the description down below. Well, until the next one, goodbye.